Whenever there is a death in Monroe County, the county's coroner office gets called. Amanda Trantafello is usually one of the people who show up to investigate. As the chief deputy coroner, she says most of the death cases she's seen are overdoses. I've lived in Monroe County my entire life, yeah. and um, I have seen the overdoses grow, and people are dying from this. Yeah. Um, when I went to school, this thing wasn't like fentanyl and xylazine and all that stuff wasn't around when I was in school. So and now I see a lot of people that I graduated with are passing from it. In 2020, the Monroe County District Attorney's Office reported 90 overdose deaths. In an effort to prevent future overdoses, the county launched the Overdose Fatality Review Program in 2022. Several organizations come together to examine an overdose death to see where they might have fallen short in helping. Since starting the review, the number of overdose deaths in the county in 2023 went down to 49. It's a way for all of our community partners to look back and say, how could we have done better for this person? Mm -hmm. Where did the community let this person down and let this family down? So we look back and it's it's not finger pointing. It's really a team process where we say like, hey, my organization could have done this different. The program has been so successful that the district attorney's office is launching the suicide fatality review program, which will operate the same way. According to the Carbon Monroe Pike Mental Health and Developmental Services, 26 people died by suicide in 2023. While that number is low compared to previous years, Dominique Leap says it's still too many. I'm hoping we get the same results that the OFR has got for the suicide review, where we are seeing that um, the resources are growing. We are finding um, places that we lacked resources that we yeah. can and and put ourselves into. The first suicide fatality review for Monroe County is next Tuesday. Reviews for Carbon and Pike are still being scheduled. Amanda Eustis, Newswatch 16, Monroe County.